Oh my goodness! <laughs> So after my fall in the driveway the other day, there was a washout after the storm and uh, I didn't see it. <laughs> and in my excitement, I went down. So yeah, I was sore the next day, but I didn't break anything. And so it's fine. But we went through the first pile that was here between yesterday and today, got it spread out and we still have that massive pile to go but I thought I would take you out here and show you just what I have done so far oh these need water oh, do they ever and the mosquitoes are out so so I did it all the way over to here You can see all the way down the property line to the secret garden is almost done. It's starting to look not bad at all. But there's tomorrow's piles to start. So there's looking down this way. So all this will be filled in and everywhere that this wood pile is will all be mulch. Oh, we need to admire the beautiful Cocos Meow while we're here. So all through there still needs to be done. And I've done it right up to the border of the secret garden. I'm going to be making some support structures with those pieces of cedar. Look at this amaryllis. Look how pretty is that? Uh, what else can I show you back here? I got my table set up. Start doing some potting. I still need to get in there and deadhead the astilbe and cut back the vinca a bit. Oh. I should probably talk to you about those five gallon buckets. <laughs> so I'm doing a, like a slow irrigation. Well, that's better color. So a slow irrigation where you put in these, I've done two, uh, one sixteenth of an inch holes on either side of the bucket. I lined it up with the handles. Um, and it just, and you fill it up, Put the lid on and it takes about eight to ten hours for a slow drip and hopefully that works out good with all the mulch and then i also gave them each two gallons of rain water from the rain barrel today because we we're in another drought that rain the other day it was like three quarters of an inch on my uh, rain gauge and that was it but yeah that's all working out good the melons are doing great sunflowers oh and let's just take a little boo at the newest flowers before i take a cherry tomato <laughs> oh my goodness and I have my first ever incident of ta -da, blossom and rot. So I'm hoping it's just on that one. It seems to be. Oh, mosquitoes. Whew. Let's 
grab some of these. Look at them all. Everything else is doing good. The Brussels sprouts are holding their own. Looks like that one came down a bit more today. These were all red, red ball. But the only one that has stayed red is that middle one. And the other two, although the little sprouts look red, um, the main stalks are going green. Don't know if that's a good or bad sign. All right, flowers. So this is starting to look a little bit better. I have some, um, I think it's called Cornell Bronze, maybe, Snapdragon, that self-seeded itself in here from last year. But look at today's beauty. This is a Josephine. I'm pretty sure. I, if, it's not, if it's not right, I'll put it on the screen. Oh, so pretty and smells so good. Oh, this one, I think... I put the name up in the first clip of what this was. I forgot already. I think African Lady. Oh, it smells so good even right from here. Oh, <laughs> love that. And these daylilies are still blooming their heads off. And my poor lemony lime elderberry. You know, barely hanging on. I don't know why it turns black, but this is the second year it's done that. Different location too. All right, guys, it's a few days later. It is Wednesday, August the 3rd. Um, there is definitely something going on with this bed that I need some help figuring out. Don't mind the grass or lack thereof. Uh, not much to cut with the heat wave and stuff and I've just got a pile of some hydrangeas that I clipped out trying to get this bed back in shape um, after the heat wave. I have another Josephine that did well but if you can look at the leaves these ones are turning yellow like those lupins are turning yellow. They started off green like the one beside it and that one's turning yellow. And then if you come over here, um, the hardy geraniums sort of have that yellow tinge to it. Now, the one that I showed you, there was a lily right here that I was asking Allie about. And yeah, it completely died and the bloom uh, did not open. So I went to tug on it and there was literally nothing left. Now I've noticed that these lilies are doing the same thing. They're going very yellow. Uh, the geraniums down here, not as green as the ones that are in my planter at the front of the house. Um, I'm positive I put well-aged sheet manure through here. So could it be a nitrogen deficiency? in this bed and um, you know how do I go about fixing it or do I even this late in the season I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I thought that maybe it was too much water um, we do have two like irrigation sprinklers here that come on at night for about 15 minutes I've since had Bill completely turn that off but like I said, we've been in a drought, so I thought it did need water. It's under the overhang of the roof, so the back part against the house always seems to be very dry. So here's the state of the leaves on my clematis. The newer growth seems greener than the older. Opinions greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, but this is looking like a hot mess because of the heat wave and drought. 
I've just pruned back a whole bunch of alyssum and I'm going to shake the seeds everywhere throughout the all my garden beds. Um, the tomatoes, in spite of the weather, still doing great. I'm picking every day. We're eating cherry tomatoes, not getting sick of it yet. 